I really don't know how I'm gonna film right now with these flowers in the background if this little menace to society does not leave them alone. Little, little, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> she thinks they're her roses, that's the problem. Let, all right, get down. You're gonna eat up those roses and mommy's gonna get mad at you. You're gonna get sick if you don't stop. Hey guys, welcome back. I have a haul for you. Oh yes, it's been a minute since I've done a haul. Maybe like a couple weeks, but that's okay. It's time. Last week was my birthday. These are my birthday flowers, and that is my cat trying to eat my birthday flowers. Little, stop. <laughs> I, oh, I can't even. I've been trying to film with these flowers in the background, and Lily keeps trying to eat them. I <laughs> Stop it! Get down! And I cannot get her away from those roses. Seriously? She is a little mess to society. <laughs> little stop! You're gonna get sick. Oh no, look. I just got my swatches all over my arm. Oh my god, I need to go clean this up real quick. Okay, so I just got back from Ulta and I kinda got some new, I kinda, I definitely got some new lipsticks and I made the mistake of leaving this store with my hand looking like this. Now I have lipstick on my pants. As I speak to you guys, I'm trying to get it off with my little wet napkin. Ugh. God, she, she just drives me crazy. I better clean this off my hand before I like rub this on <laughs> my cheek or something. I'm always that girl. I always have lipstick on the back of my hands or some sort of swatches, but that's the life of a beauty fanatic, right? I mean, that's the life you gotta live. Last week, August 21st was my birthday, and thank you guys so much for all of the birthday love on Instagram, Facebook, and that. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. You guys were amazing, amazing. You guys are just light up my life. <laughs> so I do have a haul with lots of products, some birthday gifts, some gifts to myself. They're mainly gifts to myself, let's be honest. But it was an excuse to go shopping. I mean, like I need an excuse to go shopping really guys, but this is longest intro ever. So let me just start with these beautiful bad boys you see behind me. These, yes, are real roses. A lot of people were asking me on Instagram, yes, these are real roses. These are the most beautiful rainbow roses you've ever seen. These are two dozen rainbow roses that my bestie Danny got me. Oh my gosh, I came home on my birthday and these were sitting in my house gorgeous. I mean, oh my gosh, these roses, these are fantasy roses right now. So I am going to be filming every friggin' video I can with those in the background until they die. They are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Danny. I love you. You're my heart. So those are my first birthday present that I want to share with you guys. Okay, I, I actually got this today and I want your opinion on this if, you, if anyone has tried this. I got these today at CVS because I had so many coupons and birthday coupons and good stuff from CVS. So I got these today and these are from L'Oreal. Now this is my favorite brand of shampoo. It's the sulfate free hair care system. Whenever I get shampoo and conditioner, I always get it from here. And because, you know, they have like five or six different, I think five or so, maybe four, I don't know, different kinds like they they have a hydrating, they have a silk one, they have a nutritional one. So I usually have the color uh, care one. But this one is the Oleotherapy Hair Expertise Sulfate Free System Oil Infused Oil Infused Shampoo and Conditioner. And it's supposed to, let's see, our first replenishing system for dull, dry, damaged hair. Formulated with six flower oil blend, our system provides intense nutrition and shine. Hair is restored to smooth and silky. No way down, no greasy residue. So I decided to try to try these out. They were on sale and I had a big old coupon. So I did get these too. The other thing I got from CVS is, CVS is some Bic Soleil razors. Uh, hello, can you even laugh at these names? Ready? This one is Bella, this one is Twilight. Oh, God, wow, you guys know I love Twilight. Bella, Twilight. Where are the Edward razors? Probably in the boy section. I think so. Let's get into the good stuff because I know you guys don't want to see this crap. So last week I got a package from Danny also. It was, you know, I guess part of my, I don't know, just my love package. And she sent me so many cute things. A bunch of face masks. Like, I've used a couple of them already, but I'll show you the ones I still have left. She got me this one, which is the 19 Real Neck. It's whitening and anti-wrinkle. She got me a couple of these Eco Beauty La Fresh group 
face masks, this amazing ginseng one, and then a couple of these detox, uh, detox black masks. The ones that I've tried so far, I absolutely love. They are amazing. Okay, you know what? Sometimes I really just hate talking to you guys so far from the camera. Okay, so I also got, this is a beautiful china glaze color, and it is in, in a lily bit. In a lily bit. My cat's name is Lily. Just so funny. And I absolutely love like lavender, lilac kind of colors like this. This is gorgeous. I do have an Instagram pic with this color on. It's so beautiful and oh, just oh, so beautiful. I love it so much. Two other things that were in my package were this. These two eyeshadows from ColourPop. These are absolutely gorgeous, first of all, you guys. They, I... I think I posted a look with them as a matter of fact, uh, at least with the blue one. They are squishy, like look at the texture, look at the pigmentation, they are so stinking pretty and I'm not trying to be like toot toot I'm awesome but these looked awesome on my eyes. They are sparkly and rich and beautiful. This green color is called Chipper and this other color, I need something to wipe my hands off with. This other color is called Too Shy. This one was the color that I went crazy. I mean, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. And I believe these are only a few dollars. So look at that. Oh my gosh. This color is life. If you guys want to see tutorials using those eyeshadows, just let me know, okay? I did make my way over to Sephora, uh, you know, right around my birthday, and when they send you that, that coupon for your free well that's not really a coupon it's the reminder like hey your birthday's here come get your birthday gift so I picked up my birthday gift from Sephora which is a makeup forever it's for pros for you forever <laughs> it actually has a lipstick and a mascara in it so which is awesome because then you get to sample everything the lipstick looks like this it's a tiny little baby it kind of looks like cream in your coffee by MAC but it's very sheer Nothing special for me, I mean really, I, I, it's pretty, but hey, it was free. I wouldn't buy it, but it's free, right? Can't, can't look a gift horse in the mouth. You ever hear that phrase? And also, um, a Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. I love Smoky Lash, but I don't like the way this wand is all tapered and crap. I find it very annoying, but as long as the formula is the same, I'm fine with it because I love my Smoky Lash Mascara. So I got my little Sephora gift. One thing I did do when I went to Sephora is I did wind up returning the NARS Tinted Moisturizer, the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer I did the review on. I got so many comments from people saying I should definitely return it. I was on the fence. I wasn't sure. I just felt like I had to do too much work to it to make it work for me. So I decided to return it. And for $38 or however much I spent for it, I was like, yeah, that bad boy's going back. I think it was $42, but then I had a coupon. So I wound up getting this. This is the NARS Sheer Matte uh, Foundation. I can't even speak. I like, well, 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 I already have the Sheer Glow, which I absolutely love. And this is the Sheer Matte. I'm wearing it today. <sighs> NARS Mont Blanc is the perfect shade for me. It's perfect, guys. It's, I love it so much. And I like the glowy look, but sometimes you want to look matte. And especially when you do really dramatic eyes, sometimes you need to keep that skin a little matte. So I wanted to get this foundation. I absolutely love it. I did get a sample before I wound up buying this, and now this is mine. And I took the pump off my old NARS foundation that doesn't match me, and I put it on this little bad boy. One thing that Sephora needs to start doing is selling those pumps right in the store. I don't know why you can only get them on NARS's website or on, in one of their stores, but that's really annoying to me. Something else that I got uh, was this. This is, I already threw out the packaging, but this is the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advance Performance Cream Eyeshadow. Now, I've been using this as a base. Now, this is the same color as Painterly Paint Pot, which you guys know I use in every tutorial. I'm going to actually show you a comparison of the two colors. This is the Bare Minerals color here, and this is Barely Nude, and this is Painterly Paint Pot. The Barely Nude is throwing a shine because there's some sort of like a glittery kind of look to it, and uh, Painterly is actually matte finish, so this kind of looks like it's shinier, but it's, it's very, very similar in person. Like, the camera's not really picking up how similar they are, but it's pretty similar. I mean, you could tell, right? You guys can tell. You could totally tell. So everybody has been raving about this to use on your eyelids to blank out your eyes, you know, to blank out your eyelids for a canvas, you know, so you work with a clean slate when you're putting on eyeshadow. Uh, I've heard that the staying power isn't amazing, that it's 
it's better with simple looks and if you go really super dramatic you can get a little creasing I haven't experienced that yet but I've only used it about four or five times um, yeah so I'm a little hesitant to do a look like this and then use this because I don't want it to crease and paint only never creases on me so I'm a little scared but Okay, so I just had to fill my card because my card filled up. Alright, so anyway, I'm excited to keep trying this and I will do a full review on this and let you guys know. So I also went over to Ulta a couple times actually and I got a whole bunch of stuff. I did get roped into doing the Flash Your Lash challenge thing where they do your makeover and they're trying to sell some new mascara or some new uh, fake lash business. I don't know. I did get some. I'm going to show you guys. And um, I had my makeup done. It was better than MAC. But it still wasn't great. <laughs> I can't lie. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So I went into Ulta. As I said, I got my free gift from Ulta. Which is a full size. It's his happy birthday. It's a full size mascara from CK1. So that's cool. It's, hey, this is another mascara to use. I got a $10 off my $50 purchase from Tarte. So I did get some things from there. I wanted to get that Rainforest palette. And it was sold out in both Ulta's by me. Which is kind of bull because they were pushing it in the magazine in their in their pamphlet in their um in their flyer this week they were pushing that chart palette and nobody has it anywhere which is ridiculous because the flyer just came out so it's like if you're gonna return if you're gonna post a flyer and not have the things in the flyer then you're a bunch of jerks and a friend of mine that works there agrees like that's so silly so anyway I had to get a few other things from Tarte and hey listen I'm gonna spend 50 to get off 10 right so I did anyways I wound up getting a few things from Tarte. First I got this. This is the Colored Clay, Amazonian Clay Tinted Brow Gel, which looks like this. It's got a super tiny little wand, and it's to keep your brows in place, and it is slightly tinted. So I was excited to try that. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of my Anastasia uh, Brow Gel Set, the clear one. I feel like my eyes, my eyebrows still kind of go everywhere, so I figured I would get a new one. I also wind up getting this, and I know this is a brand new product. This is the Best in Faux. Best in Faux, and this is obviously from Tarte as well. Now, what this is, it looks like a mascara, but it's actually not. Let me show you guys. Comes with uh, one of the Lights Camera Lashes mascaras in there, just a little sample. And what you do is put one coat of mascara on, and then you take this, and all this is is like false fibers. Like, you could see there's like all these weird, creepy little hairy false fiber fiber bits on here. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in if you can see it. Okay, if you guys can see that, there's all these false fibers on there that you're supposed to put on your lashes and then you put one uh, coat of mascara on, then one, then a bunch of coats of this, like one coat of this, then another coat of mascara, then another coat of this, and then another coat of mascara. Two things. Won't, if I'm using this, this, won't my mascara get in here and clump everything up and if I'm putting my mascara wand back on my lashes won't the false lashes get into my mascara and the girl kind of skated over the answer so I don't know what I'm gonna do is when I use this I'm only gonna use this specific ma specific mascara I'm not gonna use any of my other mascaras and I'm gonna keep them separate and see how it works I think this was like $22 or something like that yeah, something like $21, $22, whatever. I kept my receipt, and if I don't like it, it can always go back. So if you guys want a demo of this, let me know. The last thing I got from Tarte was this. Now, I kind of have a color that looks like this already, but eh. I got this um, Amazonian Blush in Blushing Bride. Color looks like this. So pretty. This was kind of the closest color I could find to the blush in the palette, the, the Rainforest palette that they didn't have. So I got this. I do have a flushed um, blush by by Tarte, which my friend Alicia gave me, and it's a little less than this. Like, this is a little bit more plummy, the other one's like a little bit more pink. So I figured I would try this one out. I'm really excited. I hope it's close enough. I think the other one's a little bit more mauve, but this blush is beautiful, so I wanted to try it regardless. That's what the color looks like. I think it's really pretty. I did get two little free gifts for sitting and enduring the torture of that makeup application. And I got this, which is the Tarte Flush Cheek Stain, which I already have, so I will be gifting that away. And I got this, which is the Tarte Lip Surgeons in Moody, which look at how ready for how small this is. Ah! There it is! It's all finished! It's 
time at all. Okay, so that's the entire thing. Oh, let's watch it. Why not, right? It looks like it'd be so luxurious and dark, but it's not. Like, it's it's a lip stain for show. Faux show. It's like barely any pigmentation. Like, Ooh, one other thing I got. I got this from Sephora and I forgot to tell you guys. I got this mascara. I love my bottom lash so much. You guys know it's holy grail. Holy grail status. So I decided to try another mascara from Clinique. This is Lash, pa lash Power Feathering Mascara. And it's like a matte mascara extension. It's like a Sills mascara. Now, the brush is really big and fluffy, and it's supposed to make your lashes really long and feathery. Uh, I've only used this once or twice. I, I can't say that my lashes look like crazy feathery or obnoxious, but it seems like a nice mascara. I have to keep trying this out, though, to tell you if I really, really love it, but I like it enough. I like it enough to keep it. Yeah. You guys know I have so many mascaras. I have so many mascaras. It's ridiculous. Okay, and the last of my haul came from today when I went to Ulta and indulged. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I got two free gifts with purchase. I got two samples. What allowed me to get those free samples was this. This melted lipstick in fig. Melted fig, right? Yes. Melted fig figgy goodness. First of all, I love figs. I love dried figs. I love fresh figs. I'm a figaholic. And this is what Melted Fig looks like. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. I couldn't help but come home and rush home and put this on my lips immediately because it is so gorgeous. Hello, I'm going to swatch it for you. Not that I need to because it's on my mouth, but there it is. Oh, these, these Melted Lipsticks, I think this is the third one I have now. Oh, oh, the color payoff is amazing. Like this color, oh, I'm flipping you guys off. Sorry about that. This color is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to wear it with like a gray smoky eye and like a nudish kind of blushy cheek. Oh, this color is going to look amazing. I did get two other lip products today as well. I got this one from Urban Decay, a Revolution lipstick, Revolution. And this is the color 69. I got 69 lip liner and 69 lipstick because the color looked beautiful. So, oh, Urban Decay pack packaging is so decadent, is it not? Look at this color. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, I don't even want to swatch. Like, look at how pretty. Oh, it's so pretty, I don't even want to swatch it. Do you guys suffer from that? Like, you don't want to swatch things when they're too pretty? Okay, but I'm swatching it. Oh, look at that color. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, that red is intense. Oh, it's intense. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me get out the lip liner too. This is 69 lip liner. Matches it perfectly, which thank God. I, don't you hate it when they market a lip liner to go with a lipstick and it doesn't match? Like it doesn't match correctly? And there is 69 lip liner. Oh, I can't wait to bust this color out. The next lipstick I got was from this, which is the Pulp Fiction Limited Edition line from Urban Decay. I tried to get the lip liner too, but they didn't have it, so I just got the lipstick. Look at the color of the packaging. It is black bullet instead of a pewter bullet. Now, this is supposed to be matte, but I don't find this to be matte. I find this to be just a typical Urban Decay lipstick, and if anything, it dries like a little bit satin. <gasps> Look at this color. Oh my goodness, this color is beautiful. This is fall time and it's best. I can't wait to use this lipstick. You're part of the reason why I got it, look at it. It matches my nails. Ha ha, that's so cool. It matches my fingernails. That's so awesome. So I only have one more thing to show you guys and I got myself this gift like two weeks ago for my birthday and you guys are going to be like, yes Sam, you're the coolest ever. Ready for this? Yeah, baby. I got myself some Ray-Bans. Oh my god, they're dirty. <gasps> they are dirty. How'd they get to be so dirty? Even though they're hella dirty right now, how cool are these glasses? First of all, hello, cat eye, Ray-Bans. I look so cool. Yeah. Let's do a little dance enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up especially if you want to see more hauls subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys